Now I'll show you how can you identify in which scope you are working in. This is an application paper. Here you can see on which application you are working in. And if this application picker is not enabled in service now instance, then click on this gear icon, check system settings, enable this. It's already enabled, that's why you can see application picker in header. If I select application as IPSM spoke in application picker, it means you are in this scope. If I select application as benchmark common, it means you are in benchmark common application scope this is the way you can identify and the another way is when you are working on any artifacts which is out of your current application scope which is displaying in application picker then service now will warn you for example if i open incident Now you can see that warn message. We are getting this message because we are trying to work on artifacts which is out of current application scope. As I am trying to configure formula out of incident form which comes in global application scope. But benchmark common is my current application scope. You also can see in application picker which application are you currently working on. So, so the system is warning us with this message and that's the way we can identify on which application scope we are currently in. I'll show you how can you delete an application. If you want to edit this application in studio then click on this edit button. Here you can see your application name as well as application version. If you want to delete this application click on it and click on delete button. Type delete word here. Now I'll show you how can you create and import an application from source control. So for this, go to github.com. Log in with your GitHub account credentials. Search for a repository here. Click on fork button to copy this repository in your GitHub account. Then after, click on clone or download menu. Here you will get URL. Copy this URL. Go back to service now instance. Click on studio module. Click on import from source control button, paste that URL here, now you can see that application is successfully imported in ServiceNow instance from source control. Here you can see application name. Now I'll create a branch to save the work. Click on create branch. Give the name to a branch. And click on create branch button. Now you will see that the branch name is displaying here. Now we will create application file. We will select category as data model and type should be table to create a table.
name will auto populate it select pass table to inherit all the columns here needed it is a child table and task is a parent table and needed table will inherit all the columns from parent table i am not querying any column right now these all are inherited columns which needed table is inheriting from parent table number is generated automatically n i is a prefix which we which we have given during table creation and these are six digits which we have set here now I'll show you how can you create and configure module search module Select application menu as needed under which you want to see this module. Here you will provide hint whenever a user will hover on this module. This hint will display. Here you can set roles for which user role you want to define access on this module. If you select only agent admin user role can see this module, then you will select this role. If you want that this role should be visible to all the users, you will not select any role here. This way you can override application menu role. To allow access to a user, those don't have access on application menu. This is application menu. Here we will select link type as create a new record. I want to create module on needed table, so I have selected table as needed. Here you can set view name. Here you can define filter condition. Now I'll show you how can you configure a module. Click on needed module. Change the name as all. Because this module will show list of all the records from needed table. Now I'll show you how can you create module from main service now window. Make sure needed application is selected in application picker. Search for needed application. Click on this icon. Set title here, define order as 300, define hint for this module. Here you select link type as list of record. Here you select table as needed. 
फिर वी सेट फिल्टर कंडीशन टू सिलेक्ट मल्टीपल कंडीशन वी विल सेट ऑपरेटर एज इज नॉट वन ऑफ Refresh your instance. Type needed in left navigator. Then you will see all three modules. The all three modules are created on needed table, but we have set link type as well as filter differently. It will create a new record in needed table. it will open all the records it will open all the records where state is not close complete close incomplete and close script it will set bread curves automatically on the basis of what filter condition we have set during module creation now i'll show you how can you add fields in table There are two ways to add fields in table. One is from form designer, and second one is by opening a table. Now, first, I'll show you via form designer. Select table here for which you want to create fields. Here you can select views. Here we select field type. you want to create a field having integer type so this is the way you can create it click on gear icon to change the label as well as the name for this field and second way is click on table under columns section here you will insert a new row here you will define the column label column name and here you will define the type of the column you cannot delete inherited columns so only you can delete custom created fields or columns in one more way is click on new button define type of your column set column label and column name here and click on submit button third way is open a form right click configure form layout select view name here from here you will select a section and at this section you want to create a field give the name to a field select type here and click on edit button to create a new field on this form now i'll update this then i'll show you three ways to create a field 